What's up guys, Brendan Hancock here with another episode of Groove Subaru Today. And behind me I've got a 2017 Subaru Forester. It's a 2.5i premium with all weather package. But today we're actually gonna talk about this right here, which is the boxer engine and some of the benefits that having that horizontally opposed boxer engine has. So first things first, why do they call it a boxer engine? So they call it a boxer engine because Unlike with a V-type engine where your pistons are going like this, like in a V, or in an inline engine where they're, well, they're going like this. I don't know why they call it an inline engine, but it goes like this, right, vertically. Um, it is horizontally opposed. So the pistons are moving horizontally. So it's kind of like two boxers uh, punching into each other uh, this way. So the cool benefit, a uh, couple benefits actually, that that has for you is one, it allows the engine to actually sit very low in the car. And that low placement of the engine in the compartment bay gives you two major benefits. The first one is gonna be obviously a lower center of gravity. So when you take turns and things like that, um, you're having better traction on the road, there's less body roll, things like that. It's really a safety thing, uh, giving you the maximum traction that you can have with the vehicle. The second benefit is actually gonna become with the slope of the hood. So a lot of times, if you've ever been in like a Camaro or something like that, where it's really hard to see out the front of the car, um, that is not the case, especially in the Forester. And that's why I brought one of these today is this really sort of um, augments that idea of good visibility out of the front. So um, it allows the hood to actually slope on a pretty steep grade, which gives you better visibility of where the front of your car is and just overall in general out of the front. So those are really two benefits that come from having that low placement on the center of gravity. Another really big benefit of the Boxer engine in particular is the aluminum alloy that it's made out of. So it's not made of like, you know, the old types of steels and things that you have back then. And so that alloy is not only really strong, but it's also extremely light, which is really good. Obviously lighter means less weight and it's going to be better fuel economy as well. So with that aluminum alloy, not only is it going to heat up very efficiently, but it's also gonna cool down very efficiently, which is really important, for example, if you're driving in really, really cold weather, you have this really hot engine, you know, you really want that to cool down nice and slow so that it doesn't, you know, crack. Like if it was made of steel, it could potentially crack and that's not good. So that really adds overall longevity to the vehicle, which is why you see Subarus out there that are 15, 20 years old with 300 plus thousand miles on them every single day. So. Those are a couple other benefits of the Boxer engine. One of the other ones that comes from the horizontal, um, you know, opposed in the uh, alignment, like how it's actually placed in the car is, if you have a V-type engine, for example, on an all-wheel drive car, you don't just, it doesn't just go in the engine like this. It actually has to be put on its side, and then it has, I believe, what's called a transfer case. I could be wrong on that, but it needs to redirect power to the other wheels. So that's gonna cause a lack of efficiency, and it's also not very well balanced. Um, if you've ever seen before, if you actually cut this car in half, it's actually just about equal weight on both sides, which is really good for, you know, in, it, in conjunction with that low center of gravity, just having a nice, well-balanced vehicle. Uh, if you actually were to, obviously in a parking lot, but take your hands off the wheel, right, and like go, uh, you know, in a straight line and hit the brakes, you're not going to go to one side or the other. It actually stops dead on straight, which is really, really good um, added safety benefit of having that very, um, well, you know, that good sense of balance right down the middle, which is really, really good. Last but not least, having the Boxer engine in the car does not sacrifice fuel economy for an all-wheel drive vehicle. Subaru and all-wheel drive go hand in hand. See what I did there with the Boxer engine? Hand in hand, I like that, that's good. So, the cool thing is if you look at a lot of other auto manufacturers who have, for example, a front-wheel drive, you know, Ford Escape, and an all-wheel drive Ford Escape, for example, I'm just using that as an example, uh, usually the all-wheel drive cars can have slightly lower fuel economy than the front-wheel drive. And if you take a car, you know, that has a, a V-type engine, for example, in order to have an all-wheel drive car or a four-wheel drive car, they actually have to put it on its side like this, and then the power has to be redirected from the front to the back, or, you know, from the back to the front. Now, all of those extra steps are are causing lower f amount, you know, lower fuel economy, which is not good. However, the way that the Boxer engine is aligned in the car, the power goes directly from the engine to all four wheels. So there's no redirecting of it through all these different steps. It's just from the engine to all four wheels. So you're getting the same fuel economy, if not better, on this all-wheel drive car than you are in some competitors' front-wheel drive versions of it. So. Those are a lot of benefits to having the boxer style engine as you guys can see. So if you guys wanna actually stop into the dealership, I absolutely recommend it. Take a look, drive it for yourself, feel how well balanced this car is. And I think you guys are gonna be really pleased. So thanks for watching, I appreciate it. If you have not done so already, subscribe today for more videos like this. And we'll see you guys next time on Groove Super Today.